Good to see you. Guess we're done. Hello. Books. I guess it is. Do you have more books or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My book allowance is all gone and Dad won't get me more. So, books? Eh, uh, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. Oh, 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 Dad, you've made the best friend ever. Well, now you've done it. Now you can get pestered about books nonstop. Yeah, a small price to pay for my education. Now the important question. Pizza. Favorite topping? And please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. Did you hear that, Dad? Meat! We have you outnumbered! We could always get one of each. No, you lose. <laughs> I have decided that I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I, uh... Seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship, but imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves. It'll be good to see Vladimir. I wonder if he's found anything.
We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Been a while since I've seen your ugly mug. Nice to see you again, old friend. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. She's as tough as they come. But happy to lend a hand if needed. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tail to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Glad you're back. Let's get moving. Switching me out for the big boss, huh? I see how it is. Well, of course. How else do you expect anything to be done correctly?
I hope we find a use for that before it spoils. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest.
didn't stock up on junk.
Asteroid mining is some of the most dangerous work in the settled systems. I can't take much more of this!
is so satisfying, isn't it? UC survival training taught me that caves are actually quite a good way to avoid cosmic radiation or inhospitable Don't weather. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. You are from Constellation. Vladimir said someone might be coming. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
I heard something. Adjustments are being made. But the most difficult part has been acclimating to what you perceive. I did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. 
what I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Yes. It would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. But then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything other than the path which they have created for themselves. You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics, having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So, in this I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. bunking on the ship, but nothing is better than unwinding in your own quarters. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters Worry. available to you. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored, they tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Another realist has joined our ranks. I'm outnumbered. The truth hurts, Mateo. 
Don't look at Ming. You two already know my flag is firmly planted in the science camp. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Oh, I then thank you, but... I am at your service, Captain. the original vision of the artist, or if they changed the design as they worked on it. 